This is 5.4, okay? It is factor and solve polynomial equations. Okay, so uh, we're not going to get to the solving part today. We're not even going to get all of the factoring done. But I'm going to just kind of review with you and go over a few things and then um, teach you one new thing. And then we'll, we'll finish up hopefully Monday and um, then we'll work on some worksheets and then we're going to have a 50 point test over factoring. Okay? Because remember, I pulled 5.4 uh, off the last test. I don't want to push it on to the next test because the next test is full. It's um, five sections already. Okay? Because it's um, four, five, six. Uh, that was four. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay? So it's already five sections. But they all kind of have to do with each other. All right? But So I'm just going to give this as a little 50-point test. It's factoring. If you don't know how to factor, what's going to happen on the test? Yeah, that's it, people. You, you're going to make a bad grade. All right. So let's just see. Let's just talk about some things that I think you should already know. I'm going to say this. If you're sitting out there and you're, you get lost, then you got a problem. Okay? You need to be coming in early in the morning for tutorials. You need to let me know if you're coming in, though, because I've been slacking a little bit. All right, so 2x squared minus 3x minus 20. Factor it. When you're factoring, what is the very first thing you should ask yourself? Can anything be pulled out? Yeah, always do that, guys, because it'll make your life easier if you can take something out. Plus, one of the things about this section is everything is, has to be fully factored, okay? So you have to take it out to get all the points. All right, so I look at this and I say, can I take anything out, yes or no? No. Because of the 3 it being odd, he doesn't even have an x, so obviously you can't take anything out. So now we're going to factor it like this. All right, so 2x squared factors into... Yeah, 2x and x. Hey, guys, listen up. 2x squared factors into 2x and x. Okay, so I'm going to stop for just one second. And I'm going to say this. If you don't know what I'm talking about, that's good. Okay? I had, I had some kids on the test that evidently someone showed them how to factor by multiplying this front number by this back number and then putting 2x and 2x right here. Not one person that learned that method did it correctly. Okay? That's fine. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then that's fine. Because that is not a good, if that was the best way to teach it, what? I would have taught it that way, people, okay? I've practiced on some kids before. Another teacher and I, we practiced one whole year. We taught our kids that way. The next year, none of the kids knew how to factor. It's not a good way. I, we, it's just proved again on this test because the kids that someone taught them how to do it that way, not one child got a problem right. Well, maybe it's a test of four. Okay? So, <clears throat> not a good way to do it. If that's the way you think you're doing it, then um, stop and just do it like this. All right. 2x squared factors into 2x times x. What does a minus sign at the end mean? <coughs> one's a plus and one's a minus. The factors of 20 are 1 and 20, 2 and 10, 3 and nothing, 4 and 5, and 5 and 4. Everybody with me? Okay. Can I just say, hey, who subtracts to be 3? Why? Because that's 2 up there. That's right. So these are a little more difficult. All right. So I did show you this little way. If you don't like just putting numbers in there and doing the inners and the outers and try testing them and then erasing if they don't work, if you don't like that, then look at it this way. I have to use the 1 and the 2. I could start with 1 and 20, 2 and 10, or 4 and 5. Since this number is not very extreme, I know it's kind of low, but he's not too extreme, I'm going to try the 4 and the 5, okay? So, what is 1 times 4? 4. What's 2 times 5? Does 10 minus 4 make 3? Okay, so let's flip those things. 
What's one times five? What's two times four? Two, eight, and three. Eight and, what? Well, eight and five subtract to make three. Okay, so that's what I'm trying to make. An eight and a five. So I, yes? Okay, so I'm circling these. These are the ones I'm going to use. In order to make this eight, where do I have to put the four? Last or in the middle? Okay. And what kind of eight do I want? And that just happens to be I put it in the right place. Okay, so I'll put the five here. There's that negative eight and positive five. There's my negative three. Okay? He's all factored and done. Everybody okay? All right, let's try another one. What about this one? X squared plus 8x plus 16. What's the first thing you're supposed to ask yourself? Can I take anything out? Can you? No. Okay. So, what you want to do? Oh, Tommy says this thing's special. Okay. Um, I want you to know that I think first period, not one person recognized it. Okay. I think last period, a whole bunch of kids recognized it. So, yes, it is special. What? The, here's how long it took someone to recognize that. They said, hey, he's a perfect square and he's a perfect square. What's this a perfect square of? What's this a perfect square of? Is that twice their product? So that tells you it factors into the square root of the first, keep the sign, the square root of the last, quantity squared. Now, if I didn't recognize that thing as a perfect squared trinomial, that's what it's called, okay, then am I just up a creek without a paddle? No, no people. You could have just done this. X squared, pardon me, X squared factors into X times X. What's the plus sign at the back mean? <laughs> the same sign, and they're the same as the first one, so that's a plus and a plus. The factors of 16 are 1 and 16, 2 and 8, 3 and nothing, and 4 and 4. Who adds to be 8, people? And a lot of times you'll do this, and then you'll go, oh, crud, that was a perfect square trinomial. I could have factored it a lot faster. But I still got it faster. Everybody understand? Okay. Let's try another one. 9x squared minus 1. Can you take anything out? No. Anybody recognize anything? No, no it's special. The difference of what? Two perfect squares. This is the difference of two. Y'all, anytime I see two terms, my brain goes, oh my gosh, is this the difference of two perfect squares? Yes, it is. Now, if this were a plus sign, could I factor it? No. It has to be the difference of two perfect squares. And then it factors into conjugates. Okay? So it factors into what? 3x plus 1 and 3x minus 1. Order doesn't matter. You could flip the order. All right, everybody okay? All right, let's try this last one. Okay, this is these are the most missed problems that you have. All right? Yeah. Y'all, listen, if you're asking yourself the same question all the time, what can I take out, you won't miss this problem. But some kids, you just get so wrapped up, you start doing this mess right here. And then you're like, try to make it work. And I mean, can I do it that way? Yes. But I promise you, it will take you ten times as long as if you just ask yourself, can I take anything out? Yes or no? Yeah. What? What do you multiply x by to get 8x squared? What do you multiply x by to get x? There's no answer. That's pretty easy, right? Okay, so that was kind of a little review on factoring. Everybody knew how to do all that stuff, right? All right. So now we're going to um, we're going to try example one. It has three problems in it, and the directions say factor completely. Okay? That means if you don't factor it completely, 
you're not going to get the credit for the problem. Everybody understand? Okay. So, here's the first one. It looks like this. X to the third plus 2X squared minus 15X. Now look, I don't think these problems should be any big deal for you guys, okay? What's the first thing you should ask yourself? Can I take anything out? What? All right, when I take an X out, what am I left with? Perfect. Does it factor completely? Why? Yeah, you need to factor this thing right here. And Nikki's right. When I see that x squared, my brain goes, hey, man, that thing, you better factor that thing some more. All right? So, x squared factors into x times x. What's the minus sign at the end mean? Uh, Different sign. Plus or minus. The factors of 15. 1 and 15, 2 and nothing, 3 and 5. Who subtracts to be 2? And I want a positive 2, so who goes by the plus sign? All right, and so that means the three has to go here. Now it's completely factored. Everybody okay? All right, let's try another one. Here's your next one. This is B. Two y to the fifth minus eighteen y to the third. All right. What are we going to do first? Okay, yeah, y'all listen to me. This is what this is what happened. A lot of you are looking at those Y's and you're saying, hey, man, I can take out three of those Y's. But what should I look at also? Yeah, the numbers, because between 2 and 18, what is their common factor? 2. So I'm going to take out 2 Y to the third, okay? Now, what do you multiply 2 Y to the third by by to get 2y to the fifth. What do you multiply 2y to the third by to get negative 18y to the third? Now, what is it, people? What is it? What's it called? Difference of two perfect squares. Okay? It factors into conjugates. Yes, Spencer. Okay? But that's not what this is. This is the difference of two perfect squares. So, what does y squared minus 9 factor into? There you go. Y plus 3 and y minus 3. Vocabulary is very important in math, though, isn't it? Because, because instruction, if I say rationalize this, you don't know what that means. You don't know what you're supposed to do. Okay, what does it mean? Get the denominator, get the radical off the denominator. That's what it means. Okay, all right, let's try another one. The last one. 4z to the fourth minus 16z to the third plus 16z squared. Uh-oh, squared. What am I going to take out? 4z squared. 4Z squared. <laughs> All right. Now, what do you multiply 4z squared by to get 4z to the fourth? What do you multiply 4z squared by to get negative 16z to the third? What do you multiply 4z squared by to get 16z squared? Okay. Now, Spencer saw something up here that a lot of people didn't even see. But it's still true, isn't it, Spencer? Okay? So, take, I know, when we first said that, you were like, what? That's not right. But always see what you can take out first because here it's a lot easier to see than it was up here. What did Spencer see? What is that? That's a perfect square trinomial, guys. Okay? And he's going to factor into square root of the first, keep the sign, square root of the last, quantity squared. Now, if you didn't see that, are, are you messed up? No. no. Here's what yours going to look like.
Okay? It's still the same thing. All right? Exact same thing. All right. Everybody okay? Anybody have a question? Okay. So, let's learn something new. This is called sum and difference. of cubes. Okay? Sum and difference of cubes. Now here's what I'm going to teach you. Or actually you're going to teach yourself. Okay? You're, I'm going to teach you, you're going to teach you how to factor the sum and difference of cubes. Now do we know how to factor the difference of perfect squares? Okay. Can you factor the sum of perfect squares? <coughs> No. I just told y'all that. Remember? We had that 9x squared minus 1. And I said, what is this for a plus sign? Could you factor it? Y'all said, no. Okay? So, but cubes, it'll be, it can be sum or difference and you can factor them. All right. So, I'm going to give you an example. What if I give you a cubed plus b cubed? That's the sum of two perfect cubes, right? And I tell you to factor it. This is what you're going to get. Okay, this is what the answer is going to be. A plus B. Now, y'all listen to me. This is a common mistake. This is what kids write. Now, please tell me that you know this can't possibly be that because what does Pascal Triangle say about cube and something? How many terms is he going to have? Yeah, and there's going to be four terms, people. Is that four terms? That's only two terms. There's no way this is right. So don't write that on your paper. I don't want to even mark it wrong. It's crazy. It doesn't work. Okay? So it's going to be A plus B. And then it's going to be times A squared minus AB plus B squared. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. All right? Now, let's see... Okay, because I know you can do this. Let's see if I put a minus sign right here, can you figure out what it factors into? Just given this. All right? So, what's this going to be? Very good. And then what's this going to be? Oh. Always plus on the end always plus. Because when you square something, it's always what? There you go. Okay? So, this is the formula, guys. Let's write the rules for the formula. Now, you just told me what to do on this one, so I'm pretty sure you can write the rules. You might not have the, the um, verbiage yet or the language, but we'll work on that. All right, so how do I look at this first thing and get this from it? So what did you do to it to take that cube away? You took it cube root. That's right. That's what you did. So the first thing you're going to do is the cube root of the first. All right. And then what did I do here? Mm -hmm. uh, what? Same sign. So I'm going to keep the sign. Now, how did I get this? Cube root of the second. Of the second. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to give this one to you. Go back! Go back! Did I scare you? <laughs> Good. All right. So go back. And what kind of letters? Big giant letters with exclamation points. Okay? And here's what it means, Spencer, okay? I'm right here, right? So I close it off and open a new parenthesis. But then I'm going to go back to the first. I'm going to go back to this right here. Okay? So now I'm right here. How do I get this? Yeah. You just go square the first. Oh, now what are we going to do? Yeah, we're going to change the sign. 
I'll tell you why in a minute. Now what am I going to do? Where am I going to get this? So I'm going to take their product. Now this is kind of sounding like something you already know, right? Square the first, keep the sign, twice their product. Guess what the last one is? And it's always plus. Plus square the last. Okay? That's what you have to know. All right? Now, let me, te let me share a secret with you. You see these two terms right here? <coughs> they will never, ever, ever factor. Okay? Because if I tell you to factor completely and you see that square, what your brain's going to scream at you? Factor, factor, factor you got to factor this. Y'all listen to me. You could work all period long on this one problem. He will never, ever factor. And this is the reason why. Because remember, we didn't twice their product. Okay? If you twice the product, then it would be that, that perfect square trinomial, right? But because you only took their product, it's not going to factor. Okay, so you ready to test one? All right, here's the first one. Now, right off the bat, I got to go, whoa, wait a minute. I think Ms. Davis told us we had to know the cubes up to, that's square, up to five, not very many of them, okay? And I told you that six will pop up a lot, so I know six, all right? But really, five would be sufficient, okay? Yes, it is. All right, so what's two cubes? Eight. eight. There's a cube in it. So two times two is four times two is eight. Three cubes. Four cubes. Sixty-four. Oh, there he is, right there. Five cubes. And six cubes is? Perfect. Okay, so the, the reason I need to know those, it's the same way to, if you want to recognize the difference of two perfect squares, you need to know your squares, right? So, if I'm going to recognize this, I need to know my cubes. All right, so this is the sum of two perfect cubes. So, this time, I'm going to call out the rule, and you're going to tell me the answer. Okay? So, cube root of the first. Keep the sign. Cube root of the second. Go back. Let me close that parentheses off and start you another one. Go back to the beginning. <coughs> Square the first. Change the sign. Take their product. Plus square the last. All right, now let's factor this. You can't. Y'all, you can't factor it. You can work all day, okay? I know some of y'all were like, yeah, let's do it. And some were like, wait, I thought you said that wouldn't factor, okay? So, all right, so there's my answer. Now, let me explain to you why this changes sign, okay? If I kept that sign right there, you would have a bunch of junk in there. You'd have some X squares and some Xs, okay? Watch this. What is... Negative 4, remember if you were multiplying these, you just multiply everything together, right? What's negative 4 times x? Negative 4x squared. What's x squared times 4? See how that's going to cancel each other out? All right? It's always going to work that way. So um, that's, why, that's why you have that. Um, let's try another one. You ready? This time, um, let's see, um, we're going to do two more <coughs> together. So, let's see.
There you go. Y'all listen, just because you learn a new skill, don't forget your old skills, okay? Remember the first thing you're supposed to ask yourself, what can I take out? Take that two out. What do you multiply two by to get two x cubed? What do you multiply two by to get negative 16? Oh, now that's a whole lot friendlier, right? Okay, now I'm going to tell you this. You see this two right here? If you drop that two and you don't keep writing down, I'm going to circle it and put minus two every time you do it. Okay? When it says fully factored, every factor has to be in the blank down here. When I multiply all those factors, I better get this answer right here. Okay? So, two. This time, you tell me the rules, and I'll tell you the answer. Okay? Try not to look back at your paper. You'll be amazed at how much you can remember. X minus 2. So close it off and go back to here. X squared. No, don't twice the product. That'll make it factor. Just take the product. 2x, very good, plus square the last, okay? Now we're going to factor this. Of never factors, people, never ever factors. You'll be here all day trying to factor that thing. Y'all listen to me. What are the factors of 4 that add to be 2? Yeah, see there's not any, okay? He's not going to factor. Not going to factor. All right, you want to try one more and then I'll let you get started on your homework. You just have like four problems. So, here's the next one. Let's just make it a good one. All right, you ready? Okay, what's the first thing I'm supposed to say? Can I take anything out? Between 16 and, and 250. Two. They're both even, guys. Okay? So, I mean, if you can't, if you keep going, well, there's probably something else. Then just take the two out. It'll be more visible if there is something else. All right, what about any Z's? Can I take any Z's out? Two of them. Okay, what do you multiply 2z squared by to get 16z to the fifth? Very good. Oh, that's looking good, right? Minus, what do you multiply 2z squared by to get negative 250z squared? It's 125. Oh, that was a perfect cube too. Okay, alright, so let's see if we can get it.
don't forget to write that down. All right, cube root of the first. What is it? Two Z. Okay. Keep the sign. Minus cube root of the last. All right, go back. I'm going to close it off and open it back up and start back at the beginning. That's this beginning, not back to this 2 z squared, just to here. Be careful here. Square the first. 4z squared, yeah. Remember, y'all, this is the first, so whatever you do to z, you do to the 2 also. So 4z squared. Change their sign. Take their product. Plus, square the last. Okay? Anybody got a question? Whenever we're, because of the words that we're saying, we don't have to think about the sign. Because our words are, um, cube to the first, keep the sign, and then square the first, change the sign, and then plus square the last. Then I don't have to think about signs anymore. <coughs> okay? All right. Anybody got a question? Everybody okay? All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass out the worksheet that you did <coughs> and turned in to me. Okay? And then you're going to do, remember you did 1 through, what, 16? All right. You've already done 1 through 16. So uh, right now I want you to do 17, 18, 19, and 20. Those are the only ones that you can do on that worksheet. Okay?